and welcome to another Christmassy day in December. <laughs> and cheers in Jul must. <laughs> Yes. Sweet, although it's sugar-free. Mm -hmm. Today we want to talk to you about our office space. When we first came here in the spring this year um, and decided to come here a lot more than we have before, we knew that we needed an office space because we were going to work from here. And in the beginning we, um, we uh, worked downstairs in the living room by the dining table. <laughs> And then with time, we moved the office upstairs to this room. Now, this is the perfect space for our office. We love our work and we spend many hours a day on it. So, of course, it has to be inspiring and inviting and it has to fulfill our needs. Having a space that invites you to spend more time on something that you want to do more of is also referred to as the billionaire algorithm. I'm reading this book right now by James Clear called Atomic Habits and he talks about that for something to become a habit it has to be visible, easy and attractive. So if you leave uh, a guitar out in your room or your, your living room it is more likely that you will go to it and start playing than if it's hidden somewhere in a closet. <laughs> So when my computer was, was right there on the dining table, I got a lot of work done. <laughs> and funny enough, since we moved the office upstairs to this room, we have spent whole days up here, like from breakfast, eating breakfast here. <laughs> and uh, actually before that, we do the morning routine here, eating for eat breakfast up here and just spend the whole day up here. <laughs> so we also get a lot of work done. <laughs> And that's because this room just, we love it. It's cozy, it's warm with the fire, and we have this new carpet that I will probably show you and tell you more about in another video. <laughs> and uh, we have our desks by the window, so we get daylight and we can just look right outside and sometimes spot the animals. And it's just the perfect space for us to get a lot of work done. Like if this room was cold and dark and not attractive and our computers were hidden away, um, we probably wouldn't get as much work done. Hmm. But it's not all done yet. We still need uh, real desks. The, <laughs> the ones we have now is uh, actually a sofa desk yeah. uh, and uh, a sofa table. And uh, that's not good for our backs because we sit in a, in a sofa chair all day <laughs> and uh, yeah, not good. So we will find new ones and uh, it will also be in the uh, antique style. Uh, so it will fit the rest of the room. We look forward to, to do that. Mm -hmm. And a dream for us uh, was if we could build a bay window out there, terrace and one in the other side. So we have the morning sun here and we have the sunset here. So we could go out outside every day and, uh, <laughs> and see the sun. So that would be perfect. But yeah. uh, it's, a, it's a new roof and a, a pretty big project. So maybe not next year. No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that would be the perfect spot for us. Yeah, and we do get outside. We don't just stay up here like all day long but almost sometimes mm. but we do get to see the sun also we do get out of the house yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. This was a very light touch upon the topic of designing your surroundings to fit the life that you want. So if you want to know more about that, let us know in the comment section. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.